example. So the example is that geometric isomers, even if they have the same structural formulas, uh, geometric isomers, also have different physical and chemical properties. So they have different, so they have different physical and chemical properties. What that means, what that means is, okay, if I have an example and they have exactly the same uh, structural formula. So one example is like you have a cis molecule and there's another molecule which is trans. That the CLs are pointing in opposite directions, even though they're connected to the same carbon atom. Uh, this uh, so they both have exactly the same uh, the same uh, connectivity, but this one is cis and the other one is trans. Can anyone explain to me why they're going to have uh, different physical properties and chemical properties? Which one is polar and which one is non-polar? Out of the two, uh, the f cis is actually polar. Okay, so the cis molecule is polar because. The electronegative element, they're both pointing in, in the downward direction. Exactly. So the bottom part would be partial negative and the, and the electrons over all the top part would be? Positive. 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 Uh, what yeah. happens over here? I said, what happens? The effect, over... cancels, the effect cancels out. Okay, so the dipoles, they cancel out. Just so the dipoles cancel out. So geometric isomers, uh, they have different physical and chemical properties because of the arrangement, even though the connectivity is the same, they have different reactions, different speed in which they react. One is going to react, the other one is not going to react. And there's one place where this, uh, this shape, this property of shape, of having a different shape matters a lot. And that, and that is that is bi biology. TK in biology, everything is very shape specific. You have very complicated molecules, and they are very specific. So even if one bond has a different direction, uh, the molecule is not going to work. TK. So you have your cells, you have your membranes, uh, you have amino acids which are making up these complex structures. So if only a single bond is pointing in the wrong direction, if, if instead of pointing upwards, it's pointing downwards, then the whole overall big structure of the of the complicated biological molecule that's going to change so in biology shape is very very important and all your enzymes and your lock and key models etc they all talk about shape specific active sites i said anyways let's move to the next one which is uh, which is uh, i mean it doesn't have a lot of detail uh, it's just optical isomers you get that's the second type of isomerism of stereoisomerism, and that's optical isomers. Now, optical isomers are molecules uh, that have chiral centers. And optical isomers are non-superimposable as optical isomers are non-superimposable mirror images of each other i said the best the best one the best example are your hands are your two hands they're basically optical isomers of each other uh, they look exactly the same. They get a kind of look exactly the same. They function almost the same, but they're different. Okay, and the, and the difference is that they're not uh, different, but they cannot be superimposed. Huh? Abrar, what what was your? Nothing, sir. I was saying something. You can 
Asi sorry uh T can you hear me now Yeah I just so you have optical isomers TK you press the uh Wait a second what's 